I'm totally used to this 250 now. I mean, it's, it's just second hand now for me to ride the 250. But that is a good thing because now I'm warmed up and ready for that 600 when it comes time to the fall. I know here it is April, you know, and uh, we're already four months through the year already. I mean, time's flying. And I've had the bike now uh, almost six months. And you know, but I didn't get to ride most of it, so it's not too bad. All right, guys, this is April, and tomorrow's April 15th, which is tax season deadline. I figured I'd go ahead and bring up the topic because last week we just dropped off our taxes. And uh, I remember the day, I know you, all you all know about it, where as soon as January hits, you get your tax thing in, you want your refund. I was the exact same way you guys were for years. I pay off my credit card debt with it, just minor little bits here and there. But most of the time, I always used it for my trips to England, or in Germany and all the places, anywhere in Europe, let's just say. And that is basically what I always did with my money. I took about six, seven hundred bucks, bought a plane ticket to fly over in like March or February, something like that, and flew over to Germany or wherever I wanted to go to and travel around. The rest of the money would stay in my savings account or whatever in case something happened, like car breakdown or anything like that. But that was the way I always was. I always made back between 1,500, two grand or more, give or take a year. The one time I made right around 3,300 because I was doing college and all that stuff. I got all that money back from your student loans. But the last couple years since I've been married, the whole world has changed for us. Uh, you want to hear about some first world problems and how bad I feel like our tax system is messed up? Hang in here and I will tell you how bad we get screwed every year. Now, both me and my wife have good paying jobs. I work for UPS, as you guys know. She is a family practice doctor, okay? We both claim zero, zero on our checks every single week. So they take the very maximum they can out of us every single week. We don't hold it, hold anything. We don't claim dependence, nothing. So they take the max out. And that's what I've always done my whole life. I know some big money financialists say, no, 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 don't do that. You need to, don't let them hold your money. You can invest that money, this, that, and the other. But I knew, going in because she makes so much more now combined we're so high up that we were going to get raped so i said all right we're both going to do zero zero claim zero so they take the max amount now so we don't get our ass whooped later when it comes tax season if you're not in the united states i don't know how it works but in the united states that's how it works so what happened to us is because me and my wife make so much money the first time it came around the guy what was i going to say because she had gotten a sign-on bonus to come down here to Kissimmee, Florida. She got a nice little sign-on bonus. They said, uh, sir, you owe, like, I think it was six or seven thousand dollars. My jaw hit the floor. I'm like, we don't have six or seven thousand dollars in the account. And they said, okay, well, we'll work this out. Like, how long is your contract for? And I told them my wife's contract was for three years. So we've divided up. So every year now, We've had to pay roughly about 3,000 in, even with claiming zero, zero. Talk about getting just shit on all day long. I mean, that's how bad things have gotten. And you're like, damn it. So we, of course, are waiting to the last minute. Now here's the kicker on it. What we don't like, and there's my gripe about our tax system in America is, you know, how is it these people that have three or four kids, five kids, shit like that, you know, no big deal. It's what they choose, it's their life. How do they get eight, nine thousand dollars back or whatever it is every single year? And they don't pay in anywhere near that much money in taxes. I'll give you a first hand result. My friend had four kids, okay? He paid in a little over six grand in taxes out of his UPS driver's paycheck. Uh, it was what two or three years ago now? Yeah, something like that. That dude made right at ten thousand dollars back. Uh, what? 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 How do you get back more than you paid in? I just don't get it. And it's just, it really makes you so mad because you hear about this all the time or these people that are on welfare getting money back. If you're on welfare, the government's already giving you money. How do you deserve to get more money back? You, you're already like living off of me and my wife's paycheck that we're putting in extra taxes so you can live without having to actually work and then you're going to get even refund back still? Oh, hell no. So you want to complain about the U.S. tax system? Oh my God. You heard it right from here. 
This is how it is when you get to the other end of the spectrum. When I was a single man, I made money back and I wasn't making that much. Me and my wife together with her high paying job, we're at the other end of the spectrum and now we make too much and we actually get screwed. So you're just like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. So now we have to sit there and hold money aside every single uh, year, put it in our savings account so every time this time of year, we have money to pay the ta IRS. So we always wait till the very end of the year now in order to actually pay it. Oh yeah. No real curves here in Florida. It's all straight roads. So you gotta take advantage of what you can have once in a while. But yeah, if anyways, I figured I'd share my first world problems with you guys about tax season. So me and her just, it's like cringe worthy when you, you know, it's tax season. When I was a young man, man, I used to love it. I would take that money in, whatever. And even then, let's say I'd put in $4,000. Well, I'd only make $2,000 back. So it just really makes you scratch your head and like, what the hell? When you see these people that are, are paying in six grand a year, whatever, in taxes, and they're making back eight, nine thousand dollars You're like, what? It, it just, it's just unfair. I know they have all these things they are talking about the fair tax system, revamp the tax code. I honestly think it is broken. I don't mind fa paying my fair share in. I know we gotta pay for roads. I know we gotta pay for military, everything. I get that. But having people that are taking more than they actually put in, that is wrong. That is wrong, wrong, wrong. And I felt like I should go ahead and vent a little bit on that because that's just the way I felt the last couple years. Now they said this will be the last year we're going to have to pay in because my wife's three year contract is up and that sign on bonus will be paid off essentially tax wise but I don't know how much if any will actually make in or will just break even you know one way or another. I might let you guys know about that next year but that is how we get screwed on a yearly basis here being on the other end the higher end of the spectrum. And now you understand why all these companies are out there, they're claiming this, claiming that, claiming their moms, all that stuff, just so that they can um, uh, not have to pay in. You'll see them donating this, that, and the other, just so they don't have to do it. Just working my day. I just paid down another $600 on my car today, straight towards principal. Getting it that much closer now to having the Z paid off so I can upgrade to a 600. But I'm down to a little over 8,000 left on the Z now. It's getting down there. It'll be, like I said, it's, the way it's going, it's going to be paid off by Christmas. So it might be a nice little Christmas present to myself to buy that 600. Oh, look at the standing water, guys. I know all you guys down there in California and stuff are always like, send me the water over here. Send me all that rain. Let me tell you, it was been pouring all weekend and then Yesterday, it was complete thunderstorm. I was out there moving all the UPS trucks and all around in the yard, doing this, that, and the other. And I'm like, I'm the trucks. I'm like, hit the truck, don't hit me. It was wild. Anyways, guys, I figured I'd share you some of my first world problems of having to pay into the taxes every year, even though we still pay so much. To give you a general idea of how much we pay in, my wife alone pays in somewhere between sixty and $70,000 a year in taxes. And they still say we owe money. How fucked up is that? Sixty and seventy thousand dollars a year. That is more than the average family makes. And they still, you're not paying your fair share. That's how messed up the tax system is here in America. It needs to be revamped, but you know these idiots in government are never gonna do a damn thing. All they do is argue amongst each other the whole time. And you know, it doesn't matter what side of the uh, field you're on, whether you're conservative, Democrat, whatever. They just, all they do is flip and argue and fight, and one side gets in power again, and the other side fights amongst each other. It's just, ugh. You know, so you have to get that super majority. That way, there's no way anybody can overturn you. And that's about the only way you can get things done now anymore nowadays in the United States government. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyways, guys, I figured I'd vent some of my frustration issues with you guys about how screwed up the tax code is in America and what we personally are having to go through. So enjoy your tax returns while you can. Because one day you might be in my situation where you and your spouse make too much money and then they say, all right, well you're in that next tax bracket. Now you owe us. Sir, you owe us. Ma'am, you owe us. And that's basically what happens. So.
Anyways, guys, if you enjoy this little bit of a topic, make sure you like, hit the like button, uh, subscribe. I'm going to try and do some uh, MSF courses. I found my MSF book the other day in the back of my car. I didn't even realize it was there. And I thought I'd go over some of the MSF topics and add it to my tutorial section and let some help some of the new beginner riders. As you know, I always do like to help them out the best I can. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And I hope you liked it. So I will see you guys at the very next video. Take care.